It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today I thought we'd try something new. I might be yelling, so I'm sorry if I am, because I'm actually listening to something at the same time. And here's what the purpose of this is today. What we're going to be doing is, basically, I'm actually watching the World Domination dev stream as I speak. So I kind of have my screen split in half right now. I've got the camera on one side, stream on the other, and I thought I'd just kind of talk through what they're saying and anything I think that is pretty cool to talk about. Then that way you can, if you're not able to make the stream, you'll be able to hear kind of what my thoughts are and kind of the new stuff that's going to be making its way to the game in the future updates so i'm excited but um it just started about a couple maybe like five ten minutes ago i missed some of the art stuff but now they're on to sterling and the animation stuff so so far it's just some of these new animations that they're going to be having for dr zombowitz now dr zombowitz is really cool he's gotten he's got a lot a lot of awesome little cool perks going on uh basic animations going on here there's kind of uh integrating his little you know how he has a big giant arm you know that yeah he's just kind of using it to do random crazy stuff awesome cool animations going on right now but other than that it's not too exciting so i've also got my game right next to me here so i'm kind of multitasking in three different ways so what i thought i'd do is kind of you know while nothing too exciting is going on i mean animations i love animations they're so cool but since nothing i can really talk about them i mean i think they look good i think the animations look good but um you know while we're waiting a little bit I thought we'd just give it a shot and I'd play a little bit. So, I kind of got on the side here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Well, I've been waiting for the new war. Because I am going to just go all out in this next war. My goal is to just completely dominate. I'm going to try to make the top 5, top 10. Don't want to set my expectations too high. But I'm definitely going to try my best to get the highest I can. And I'll probably make a video on that. Or I may even live stream. If you guys... Oh yeah, update. I have a Twitch channel. I'm going to start streaming soon. I'm, I'm working on my setup. I've got a lot of stuff, you know, get going. I'm doing a lot of tests. I'll probably stream a little bit this weekend just to, like, iron out some of the kinks in my streaming setup. But I'm working on that. It's slowly getting better. And, you know, I think it'd be really fun to do if y'all would show up. So if you follow me, I got a link in the description. And it'll get notified whenever I set that up. So that's there. And also got my Twitter account. I post all my news. I retweeted a lot of stuff from Proletariat that's important. Anything I think is important, you get updates on all my videos. So definitely check that out. Let's attack a little bit. And currently, Proletariat has moved on to some Unity stuff. And I believe that they are talking about the new PvP access stuff. The stuff they're adding with PvP. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing yet, but I'm watching. Because PvP is going to be added soon. It's going to be able to play other players with the game. Great, 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 great addition. I'm so excited to see this come out. But we're just kind of waiting to see. So let's attack. What do I need here? Can I not do that? Where's somewhere hard that I can attack? Mumbai. I defend this. All right. So right now they're going to talk. They're talking about a new edition of the leaderboards, which I'm actually really excited to see because personally, I'd like to see where I'm stacked up against the other players. And also, I'm sure a lot of these higher top tier guys. Definitely want to see where they stand on leaderboards because I know it's always exciting. See where my guild sits and a lot of stuff like that. So that's kind of going on. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I'm just kind of messing around. So I'm just going to put down some people and kind of let them just go to town. What do I want to do here? You know what? Let's put all my machine gunners right here. And then lumberjacks are going to help them out a little bit. All right. So I always like having my mercenaries there. And I'm actually going to put a sharpshooter there and a desperado. Sorry, I'm a little off of the... I'll just kind of scoot back a little bit so I'm near the mic. Because the mic, the glorious beauty of the Blue Yeti. You like to have that good clear sound. I'm going to move it over there. You see it? Mm. All right, guys. So we're kind of setting that up. Uh, I think that's a pretty solid setup right there. I'm actually going to put all these snipers right here as well. Just kind of help out. A little bit of extra support there. Let's move them over just a little bit so we got a clear view of the pad. <clears throat> Let's put that there. All right, so we got leaderboards set up. It's actually looking really nice. Uh, looks like it's a bit of a tiered. Yeah, this is for the PvP tiered area where you're getting different rewards. It looks like they're, it's similar to the war leaderboards, you could say. But it's been a little bit revamped, a little bit polished up, and a little bit more cleaner. So there's, it looks like there's going to be bronze, silver, and gold tiers for the PvP stuff. So that's interesting. And the way they're actually organizing it is similar to war, where there's going to be a timer for, say, like two days. And whoever gets the top against other players, I guess, wins. So that's actually going to be a really good little addition. So while we finish up setting this 
up. All right, I think this would actually be really good. So we're gonna have the commandos, one lumberjack, and let's put a desperado in there. So that's pretty uh, solid little group I have going here. So let's start that up and we'll let that go. All right, so it looks like we are moving in terms of the leaderboard. So we're pretty much clearing up that on the sprint review today. That is what they're called, the Friday sprint reviews. Pretty cool stuff. So we're pretty much tearing it up on this right here. This map, they just can't handle it. All right, so I'm actually going to stim up. Who am I going to stim? You know what? Let's save that for a second, and let's just hold tight. Let's see if we can send these guys early so we can get a little extra stuff. And I'm actually going to stim this group right in here in the middle because they're pretty much in the belly of the beast, you could say. They're just right up there in the middle of it. Pretty crazy. All right, guys. So that's just, oh, goodness gracious. Runners are in there, and they are tearing it up. Okay. It's okay. Okay, let's uh, see if we can move these guys away for a minute. Flare, do some help. Commandos, go off, please. Stim up a little bit for me. All right, everything's down. Let's send these waves since they are ready to go. Now, good thing is I still have those machine gunners and the lumberjacks in the back there ready to go, just in case. So we'll be good there. All right, next thing on the stream is coming up. What do we got going? I believe this is going to be some new mission stuff. That's what he's saying. I'm all for new missions. I love new missions, stuff like that. It's going to be really nice. I can't, sadly, I can't see the Twitch chat, so I don't know what they're saying. I would say stuff, but I can't really see it. Oh, my gosh. Guys, you know what just happened? Do you know what just happened? My screen just died on the iPad. So here's what I'm going to do. If you guys are still watching at this point, I'm going to actually just kind of fill in some other gameplay behind this chat so i'll just keep commentating the twitch stream thing so this will turn into like a bit of a vlog a vlog we'll roll with that that'll work so let's see what's going on here on the video screen um nothing too exciting right now uh all right it looks like they revamped the logo for the trophies it's a little bit more like a gold trophy now i like it looks nice all right, they're revamping a lot of the logos and animations that are in regards when your troops are attacking, which is actually really nice because, um, I don't know, it just looks cleaner, it looks sharper, I like it, because I'm slowly getting used to the whole new system. I'm actually, at first I thought, I just like the way these new logos look, because I can't, I mean, you guys can't see them, but it looks like they're more gold, they're more sharp looking, the more sleek, rounded edges, they kind of stand out a little bit more, because I found that the, some of the old things kind of blended in with the background of the game, and it just didn't look as good, but, you know, they're just kind of showing some stuff, and how that's going, and whatnot, and it's looking pretty good, good stuff, guys, so, 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 what I've been doing this week, I might as well throw this in while there's not too much happening, if any of you guys watch Arrow or The Flash on the CW, I'm proud of you. Those shows are so cool. It's based off uh, the Green Arrow and, of course, The Flash. It's actually really cool. These really cool. These are probably one of the better superhero shows that I've seen because they mostly speak about like just like their backstory and like how they just go to work. And these guys are so legit. They're good actors. They do very good. The writing is phenomenal. The story is unreal. Like whew, the plot is on point. So if you, I think, if you kind of like were, um. Like I said, The Walking Dead is great. So if you're kind of a fan of that kind of thing, I would definitely go for that because I would give it a shot. It's on Netflix. If you got Netflix, Netflix is amazing. So we got Arrow and The Flash. The Flash just started. It's new on the CW. It's a new show, but I'm definitely a fan of that. All right. Looks like they're changing up a little bit on the stream here. We moving out. I wonder what I'm going to be putting in the background of this. Some pretty crazy gameplay. I think it is. Ooh. What's going on here? Uh We're talking about new maps. Uh possibility of a new map here. I'm gonna hear the answer really quick. Let's see what's going on. So give me a minute. Oh all right. Havana. So we're going to be adding Havana in there. That's going to be for the PVP. So Havana is going to be added in for the PVP, that like little area. 
So there's no other cities in that, but Havana is being added for PvP. So that is what is going down. All right. So they're now transitioning on to the 2.1 beta update, which I actually will have the privilege of having a beta code giveaway for, which if you haven't signed up for that already, I would get to that. I would go for it. All right. So it seems that we are moving on into the more gameplay half of the stream where these guys are going to kind of mess around, kind of show us some of the new features, kind of play around with them in game, which I can personally not show you on the screen because I am not showing you guys and I'm just commentating it. So in regards to that, guys, I am going to just go ahead. I think, let's see, let's give it a few more minutes, but if not, I may have to just conclude this episode because it looks like we're at that stage so uh let's see i'm gonna give it a second uh bear with me one moment please i'm listening all right so pretty much the big things are going to be added in for 2.1 is we're going to be having the pvp arena that's going to be added in and then perks for your troops actually so you're going to be upgrade certain perks for your troops certain things that they can do which i actually like a lot because it's going to add more depth to the game who you're upgrading what perks you're getting stuff like that balancing everything i actually really like that a lot so looks like we're going to be looking at some new perks for the troops and the pvp which i'm actually looking forward to is going to be really fun kind of get your chance to face off against some of these other higher level guys see how you stack up against the other people i'm actually looking forward to that you know test my own skill so those are the two main things we got the perks polishing Looks at squashing a few more bugs, of course. I'm listening. All right, so they're kind of talking about when they're going to be releasing 2.1. And it seems like to me maybe a couple weeks just because the one, Apple takes forever to kind of approve the process of whatnot. So it can take time for them to accept and push the game out. So, of course, it'll probably take about maybe two weeks, I think just because one they're gonna have to finish it and once it's pretty much complete and done they're gonna have to submit it to apple and when they submit it to apple it's just in apple's hands to get it set up because they have to approve it and then once it's on the app store it's live and that's pretty much what we're gonna be waiting for right there so yeah i think that's gonna call today because my stream is not working right now plus uh they're kind of moving on the second we're just kind of waiting to answer questions from the twitch streamers so I think that's going to call it today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this new kind of little episode idea. I think I just kind of want to try it out uh, for Friday's, you know, Friday sprint reviews. So guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, I actually really enjoyed this episode. Just kind of talking, not worried too much on a specific thing. It's just kind of fun for me. But um, guys, thanks so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.